Hi, it's Carla here and I'm here to talk to you about Love Me Tendon. Now, tendons are not sexy. I admit that. They don't look so fantastic on your Instagram feed. We're normally talking about muscles and the way the skeletons work. But the reality is that tendons are very important for the transfer of force from our muscle to our bone. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But let's remember how many times have you had somebody come in, I've got a tendon tear in my shoulder. I've got an Achilles tendon injury. I've got a glute knee tendon issue. And over the course of the last few years, maybe it's just the type of place I'm working at. Maybe I need to change. But the number of tears that I'm seeing coming through seems to be epidemic. And it's the process of understanding what are tears, what are tendons, how they function, and how we work with them in a studio setting is really important. Okay, you with me so far? So let's first of all understand what is a tendon. Give me some ideas. Tendons are about what attaches your muscle to your bone. Now, when we look at the fibres of a tendon, they're lovely and glistening and white. Whilst the muscle has a redness about it. Now, this isn't just because it looks like pretty colours. This is because the different types of soft tissue has different underlying connective tissue within it and this affects how it heals and how we work it. So my starting point with understanding these things is actually what does what. Rebecca would you like to come here and assist me please? When I work with muscles and tendons what I want to do is understand that we've got a horse and a cart. The cart are our bones, our skeletal st structures. The horse, no offence dear, is the muscle, muscular structure. Now what we're wanting to do is understand that the tendon is the thing that connects the muscle to the cart. Okay, so here is our horse. And here's our car. Now, if our horse races off, you're going to put a fair bit of damage on the tendon. So when our muscle has too much power, particularly in the belly of the muscle, it's going to cause a fair bit of strain on the bone. Now, if our muscle's not strong enough, the car is going to pull and the bone is going to cause a fair bit of damage on the muscle. Thank you, you were lovely. <laughs> okay, so what we need to be thinking about is just in the way we work with people, what are the benefits of Pilates in helping us benef beneficially allow the muscle and the tendon to work better? And as I keep saying, Pilates is fantastic. If it was easy, we'd be at the gym. And if we understand the beauty of the eccentric work that our reformers and our springs can do for us, we understand how better to work the muscle and tendon in a better balance. Now in this workshop, we're going to look at the, those factors on how to better work the muscle, but also the various stages of tendon damage, repair, and how you can adjust and apply that in a Pilates setting. Because quite frankly, we have the skills to work the body better. So scooter is a fantastic exercise for helping people improve hip extension. Now there's so many different ways we can do scooter, but my starting point is to work out which type of scooter we're wanting and which stage of gait. Now when we're talking about glute med tendinopathy, a lot of the problems are going to come from poor glute med stability, but also poor glute max hip extension capacity. So, to make this the scooter for glute knee tendinopathies, I'm just going to put a front foot forward there, 
into a good straight stance. She's going to take her back foot back here, remember? Now, what you're going to do is from here, we'll bend that knee, and now she's going to press her hip back, good, and come forward. So during the course, we're going to talk about the different ways that scooters would work to help you get better glute activation. Thank you and enjoy.